So this was the second session on my first day riding this season, the day of my first impressions video on the Mountaintop XFR three and a quarter. I still think the strut rod spec I was given was too short, but it was definitely fun and super maneuverability. It just made the back end so low it was crazy. I've gone three full revolutions out on the strut rod now and I'm still feeling that out. So praise God for the season getting off to a good start here in coastal Alaska. I've had eight good days riding so far and I'm hoping to get back out again soon. But more importantly, I want to take this opportunity to preach the law and gospel. If you aren't consciously following Yeshua the Messiah, then you need to listen to the only truth that can set you free. This day and age is full of good time activities like snow biking, but that's not going to amount to a hill of beans when you face God on Judgment Day. It's a serious matter and needs to be rectified before anything else. If you haven't read God's Word, the Holy Bible, you need to get on that. And if you haven't repented of your sins and good time Charlie life apart from God and His rules for living, then you need to stop and think about it. It's really not that complicated, but you need to appropriate the process of being born again by recognizing that Jehovah calls the shots and created all things good, including you. So you need to submit to His rightful authority as your divine creator and heed His word that until you are literally serving the cause of Christ, then you are against Him and will suffer the consequences of your sins, which is hell for eternity, where the devil and his fallen angels are going to be. There's nothing more important than your eternal salvation, and don't let any of these modern, worldly, so-called Christians tell you it's okay to live like the lost world and not conform to the ways of Jehovah, Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit, and their word, the Holy Bible. And if you're pursuing anything more than you're pursuing God, then you're lost and in danger of the judgment. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God, both in the afterlife and in this world, here and now.